how to create a sales page on wix hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i'm going to show you how simple it is to create your own sales page or product page on wix it is very easy and very simple all you need to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to visit wix.com then you need to create an account within that platform after you have did that you're going to create your website since right here we are on the sites dashboard you can go ahead and create a new website if you don't have one and it is very easy and very simple you're going to proceed with the wix editor or you can try the wix studio you can also get the help of the ai website builder or you can create or get a simple template then you need to select online store because the online store is what is uh, going to get your uh, sales or be your sales channels so right there as you can see we have some websites uh, that i have created so we need to select any of these websites and then we are going to see the website dashboard that we are going to set the payment methods the shippings and also the website itself now i am going right here to click on edit site so we are going to see the website editor in the meanwhile the website editor will go into reloaded we are going back to the wix dashboard of the website now i highly recommend you to go and visit the settings go ahead to the settings then go ahead and set your payment methods click on accept payments and right there you are going to add here some credit cards paypal account and some more payment methods like Alipay, Affirm, or Afterpay. You will see here all of the available payment methods that you can think of. You can see also some third-party credit card providers. We're going to see here Stripe, Priority, Square, and etc. Set one of these payment methods to your account, and then you need to upgrade to get the access of the premium plan now within that set you're going to the settings again then you need to set the checkout page these are some essential steps before proceeding to any of the sales pages now after you have set the return policy terms and conditions return policy and you are going to customize your checkout page you need to access after that to the website itself so in my case we have the website fully set and we need to add something to it to make it an online store and what is this thing it is wix stores how we can find wix stores it is very easy go ahead right here to the left sidebar for the elements and then we are going to click on add apps click on add apps and the wix app market will show up right away now we need to search for a certain app called wix stores so we are going to type in that and then we are going to click on enter as you can see we have the first one right here wix stores it is already installed in my case but in here i will let you see how we can proceed to it you're going to click on this app then you are going to add it to your store after you have did that i'm going to click on add again right there and i'll let you see here the step so it will be added in the wix store then it will create that specific store you will see it right here popping as store so as you can see we have set everything you can also define and set the shipping regions right there click on it and then you are going to modify all of these but if you want to see the store right here click on the pages right here on menus and then you are going to click on site menu within this site menu you are going to see something called shop click on shop and this is your store so we are going to visit the store right here and we are going to see the products here we have the product set you can go ahead and add these products or whatever product that you want for example by clicking on the screen right there click on manage product then you're going to see all of the products and how we can add them as you can see right there we have all of the products set and you can visualize them from there now we have the option to add them or organize them as much as you want if i want to access any of these products 
all I have to do is to get that specific page. Now let's go ahead and proceed on how we can customize this product page. So all we need to do is to select the product page like that. Then we are going to click on setting. Right here, we have some uh, layouts and some layers, some designs and that we can go ahead and customize. For example, if I want to set the display, I can add some product cards right there for let's say product name, product and price divider. Go ahead and add that. You're going to see that divider. You can add a R add to cart button right away. Uh, for example, on hover, you can go ahead and set it on hover or like that fixed. You can add a quantity selector, product option, if you have some options, and you can set the quick view button. Now that was for the settings or the display. You can set a display right there, a scroll behavior. You can also put a image hover effect a add to button or add to cart button. You can select the layout right there and set the product images, for example, side by side like that above the product. You can set here the image resizing, the image ratio, and here we have the design for the product cards like that. You can go ahead and set the background opacity and color. This for the design, let's say the product info, you can set the quantity and product options and a lot of things. We have also the text, you can set a pre-order, you can add some lists or show the category listing, you can add the filters, add the sortings and set the quicker view or the view like that. Here, you can find this tool right there on two tools, click on tools and right there you are going to see everything for the toolbar. You can add some layers and see and modify everything. Now for the settings, you have the category page or the product itself page. It will be named right there as the name of the page that has been selected. For example, like that or the product page. This is the product page. I have named that product page. When you see that product here, we have it. This is the product page and this is the list of the products that has been added. If you want to modify this one, you can go ahead and click on quick edit, modify the content like that of the color, for example, background, you can go ahead and set this color like that or let it white, for example, black or gray like this one. You can add an image as a background, a, a video as a background. Also, you can modify the layouts and add some sections right there and delete them here. As you can see, you can set some background scroll effects, fade in, fade out and etc. You can set a shape dividers and you can go ahead and custom whatever you want from these buttons. This is a fixed a product page you can manage that product itself from there and also you can go ahead and set whatever you want from it for example you can customize that page click on customize and see the, the different type of pages we have the sleek one like that we have the stunning we have the spotlight right there i'll let you see here the sneak again or the stunning like this we have the simple and we have the normal or the classic one. You can stretch to the full width like that by enable that button. You can also set the product image right there to the left, the center as dots and etc. You can set the image ratio. You can set the settings for this page showing the product price and etc. Put in also the discount name, show some buttons. Open in mini cart and etc. for prices right here or text. You can add or modify this label, for example, like this add to cart. I'm going to set it by it now, for example. Then we are going to see it right here changing. You can set a pre order button, put a wish list, and also some designs for the button and etc. 
that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.